What up, peeps? It's your boy, Church Boy, back again with another video just for you. Yo, how y'all been? Hopefully you guys are doing well out there, man. I was um, I was sent a request by K.R. Greenwood to have a listen to another Tom McDonald song. And they requested that I have a listen to um, I Wish. Um, and I'm, I'm going to have a listen to it, man. I, of course, you guys know how I feel about Tom McDonald. I, you know, I believe that he is one of the greatest artists, greatest lyricists of all time. I mean, like he is... An absolute genius, man. I, I this, this guy is, uh, he, he's tough to beat, man. <laughs> he really is. And um, what what Kr Green what Kr Greenwood wanted or uh, requested for me is like a little break from the the political songs <laughs> and the political content. So yeah, and you, this is one of the songs you requested. So I'm gonna have a listen to it. So without further ado, here's Tom McDonald performing. I wish. Let's do this. I wish I wasn't fat. I wish I wasn't gay. I wish I wasn't black. I wish that I was brave. I wish, I wish, I wish with every candle on the cake that I could quit doing these drugs, but I can't and I'm afraid. I wish that I was smart. I wish that I was rich. I wish it wasn't hard for me to grow up and forgive. I wish that I could help. I wish I wasn't sick. I wish I was Tom McDonald. I'd be just like him. Hmm. I wish I wasn't sober. I miss it when the party wasn't over. Happiness was right around the corner. Every single night was like the best one of our lives. Now we're older. The good old days are out of reach. I wish that they were closer. I wish I wasn't anxious and I wish I could fast forward. And I wish that I could rewind, but they don't make that controller. I wish the nights were longer and I wish the days were shorter. And I wish that I could sleep enough to maintain my composure. I feel crazy. I wish that I was normal. I wish that I could kill myself, but also be immortal. Take me to the Oracle. I heard that time is borrowed. Can you give me back my yesterdays? I'll give you my tomorrows. Forget all of my morals and just live like I cannot remember sorrow. Before all of the tattoos and the Cornrows, I was different, I was happy, I was calmer, I was young and full of hormones. Now I'm wishing for a time machine, I'd step into that portal and be gone. I wish on shooting stars, or were they satellites? Maybe they were too far. Hey, ooh, la, la. I must have blown apart a million daily lights. Now they don't go in my yard. Hey, ooh, la, la. Okay. I wish I didn't care about the day that okay. I. Okay. Yo, he said he wished that shooting stars, but they're satellites. Ooh, or are they satellites or something like that? Yo, that's, yo, that's, that's deep right there. That's deep. And he says he, 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 he blew a million dandelions and now there's none in his yard. Oof. that man, that's real deep, man. I mean, what is, what is he saying? He's saying, yo, I, is there hope? You know, is is there any hope for change? Is there any hope for me getting out of this particular situation? Mm, 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 mm. I'm feeling it, man. Of course, that that first first verse was fire, man. But that hook, that hook is getting with me, man. It's 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 doing something to me. Let's let him continue on. I'd be buried, used to live like I was ready for it Always in a hurry, now I'm worried All my memories are blurry, I'm just barely turning 30 And the voices in my head are trying to hurt me The choices that I made make me feel dirty I was 25 or 13, I was smoking with the seniors Drinking beer and getting flirty Now the Ativan ain't working, I need something even stronger Give me childhood, my mother and my father and my sister And a Christmas to make up for all the recent ones I'm missing While I'm touring the country for a living Give me a hug and a Nintendo and a toy box in the closet Give me everything I wish I had, oh wait I think I got it I'm a rapper like I always promised them I would accomplish this is awesome, man. I wish I had a friend to tell I'd call him, man. I wonder if I jump from here, if I'd survive the bottom, and would everyone believe me if I told them I had fallen? I'm a jump. I wish on shooting stars, or were they satellites? Maybe they were too far. Hey, ooh, la, la. I must have blown apart a million daily lights. Now they don't go in my yard. Man, he wished that a shooting star, or were they satellites? Mm, man, that <laughs> that is something, man. Yo, that that it's messing with me. It, it's messing with me, man. And uh, dang, man, Tom always does that to me. He, he makes he makes me think about certain situations, man. And uh, yeah, I got I got a little something I want to say about 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 this song here, man. But yeah, this song this song is in D. You know, uh, I, I love the key of D. You can do some cool things in D. And uh, matter of fact, forget it. It's a very common progression 
Uh, you guys hear me say that a lot, but it is like music is very repetitive. You know, it's so this is a very this is this is a one five four one progression. So it's this is one. This is five. Four. One. One. Four. I mean five. <laughs> and then here comes four. And right back to one. It's same thing. It's it's it just keeps going. It's a very very, it's a very welcoming uh, progression. There. It's it's not it's not convoluted. It's 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 not difficult. It's easy to listen to. I can't say it enough. I love when music is easy to listen to. And of course, I love the convoluted music too. You know, I love like what Stilly Dan is doing musically. I'm just like woof. Ooh, I like what Stilly Dan does musically, but songs like this, uh, especially if someone's rapping to it, you want you want the music behind the rap to be easy listening. But let's let's let him continue on though. I'm I'm over here rambling. Hey, ooh, nah, nah. I wish we were kids again before everything was on Instagram. Hey, yo, things were so simple then. Me, my tree, fort, all of my friends. Way back when on Beaver Drive, when the floor was lava, I could fly. Ayo, wished I was big like them. Never thought I'd wanna be a kid again. I must have blown a million dandelions and now they don't grow in my yard. So he's like, yo, I, I picked up the dandelions, you know, and I and I, I blew the dandelion seeds and none of those seeds fell in my yard. They blew somewhere else. They're growing somewhere else. They're not growing in my yard anymore. I made a lot of wishes on those dandelions and now they're somewhere else. Ah, man, yo, this this is man. Tom, Tom is smart, man. I wish I wasn't fat. <laughs> I wish I wasn't fat. I, oh man, I wish I wasn't fat. <laughs> oh man. Oh man, this is crazy. Good song. Good song. I, I and it, it, you know what? A lot of artists can't do this. You know, a lot of today's hip hop artists, they can't make a song like this. You know, they they're too gangster. They're too hard. You know to make a song like this, you know, like these, a lot of these new, new age rappers, they don't rap about their feelings. They want to continue pushing that gangster, killing, murderous, robbing, raping narrative. They want to keep pushing that narrative just to feed our youth that. And it's, I love that the fact that Tom can make a song like this, because there are a lot of people who are going through certain things and they, they need to overcome it or they, they go through certain things and they just need some help. They need someone to talk to, some assistance. Or if they want someone, they want to know someone else or speak with someone else who's going through the same thing as them, man. You know, like when that, when that, when that, uh, that, that guy said he wish he wasn't gay, you know, like it's, yo, know, it, it, that made me think of something. That made me think of something, a situation in my life, man. I, I remember, man, one of my older brothers, man, he died. And we are a tight knit family, man. We are very, very, very close. You know, and there are 10 of us, you know, like they're just siblings, you know, and when my brother died, man, it was a tough time. It was, it was, it was really tough. Of course, he was sick for a long time, man, but we had some good times together and my brother had a son and when he, when, when my brother died, man, he, my nephew, my brother's son, he didn't, he wasn't really close with us. And he, he thought we didn't like him. He thought we really didn't accept him. 
because we're there is we we're these macho boys we're these macho men you know so he thought he thought he wasn't well received you know because he's gay right and we always knew he was gay we i mean it was we always knew he was i mean from a little boy to a, a preteen teenager growing up we knew he was gay we knew he was you know and after my brother died thanksgiving came along you know and we were all planning to get together and it's like yeah we're all going to meet at my house and we're going to have a good time you know we're going to have a good time with the family and thanksgiving morning probably around 10 o'clock in the morning uh, i woke up and i was thinking about my nephew i was thinking about my nephew now mind you my brothers and i we're very very silly and we joke all the time all we do is make fun of each other we joke but thanksgiving morning around 10 a.m i text my nephew this this was a few months after my brother had passed. And I picked up the phone and I, I text my nephew and I said these words. I said, hey, man, you're gay. <laughs> and he texts back, only you, only you would text that to me, you know, and that's. A few minutes later, he called me. <laughs> he was like, man, you are silly. Why did you say that to me? <laughs> you know what? Me saying that to him, it like broke that proverbial ice. Like it broke the ice. You know, there was there was there was some some uncomfortableness. There, there, there was some tension there, you know, and me texting him that like it made him laugh and it made him call me like, hey, you are crazy. Why, why did you say that? You know, and we talked for about you know, maybe a half hour. And I was like, Hey, we're all getting together. Come by, you know, come by, man. You know, we're, we're planning to get together. Come by, you know, he came by later on and we had so much fun, you know, and we've been cool, very cool ever since, you know, but he thought he wasn't accepted, you know, but I had to use our, our jokingly banter, you know, and I had to reel him back in like, Hey, I, I, I had a, a strong feeling that he would like that. And I was just taking a, a gamble. And I, I say, hey, hey, man, you're gay. You know, and he just found it so hilarious. And the thing is, I, I found him telling a couple people the story, that little small story. And he, he just gets so much joy out of it. And it's like he he knew that I, was, that I wasn't trying to make fun of him. He knew that I actually loved him and I wanted him to be around us. I wanted, I didn't want him to feel alienated, you know, and that's how he was feeling until I messaged him on Thanksgiving morning. So when that person, when that person in, in the beginning of the video said, I wish I wasn't gay, it made me think of my nephew, man, you know, and it's, um, yeah, yeah. And my nephew has a story, man. He has a very interesting story, man. I, and I, man, I, I love that dude. I love that dude, man. And, um, my brother's death brought us, closer together, you know, and, um, man, I don't know why this, this song and that, that person in the beginning made me think of my nephew, man, but yeah, that's, that's what it made me think of, man. And if you guys got someone that you may be beefing with, or you may have a disagreement with, especially if it's a family member or someone you love, man, man, reach out to them, man. Communication is key. You know, sometimes you just got to be the bigger human being and just say, hey, man, I'm going to reach out and I'm going to call you, man. Um, that's what I like to do. I don't like I don't like to let beef linger, man. Life is short, man. Life life is really short, man. A lot of us don't know that, man. And it's you just never know when it's your time. You know, you never know. You never know, man. It's always like that one person at the funeral, like whenever someone dies, you know, that one family member that's crying really hard and they're very emotional, you know, and a lot of times that person who's crying really hard and they're very emotional, a lot of times they were at, at odds with the person who died and they never, you know, they never recovered from it, you know, like it's, I see that, that, that's really, man, that's, that. It's very popular in funerals, man, really. That that situation happens all the time. You're, someone is at odds with someone or they had a disagreement or whatever, and then whoever, that person dies, and it's like, oh, I can't tell them I'm sorry or, you know, I, I, I can't apologize or we never got a chance to work out our differences and so forth, and that person is usually 
distraught and they're broken at the funeral. Man, you guys, let me know if I'm crazy. Let me know if I'm wrong, man. But yeah, this song was fire, man. Tom, Tom, you know, like Billy Joel, he um he he makes me think of certain situations in his music, man. He's so creative. Uh, and he he just man, he's a powerful lyricist, man. I, I I'm just proud to be able to witness this greatness, you know. And um, yeah, man, it's uh it's like watching LeBron on the on the court, you know. <laughs> It's like watching really it's like it's like watching LeBron James on the court man this guy you know I'm I'm proud to to witness his greatness man this is a it's an honor to to witness his music man but let me know what you guys think let me know what you guys think but don't forget to like share and subscribe but above anything else love each other take care of each other peace god bless